LeBron James called out Elon Musk last week, and Chief Twit responded Sunday afternoon. Responding to a story from the Washington Post that alleged that the use of N-word skyrocketed 500% on the site after Musk's takeover, James tweeted that the situation was scary AF. I don't know Elon Musk and, TBH, I could care less who owns Twitter. But I will say that if this is true, I hope he and his people take this very seriously because this is scary AF. So many damn unfit people saying hate speech is free speech. LeBron James reacts to alleged Twitter spike in and work. James tweeted Saturday afternoon, and Musk responded by referring the NBA star to a thread by Yoel Roth, Twitter's head of safety and integrity. The original tweet from Roth was somewhat in response to the post story, and made it clear that the derogatory language came from a small number of users, 300, that posted over 50,000 tweets using a particular slur. Roth then tweeted that the accounts were inauthentic and had been banned for their trolling campaign. Musk also tweeted last Friday that his team had not yet made any changes to the site's moderation policies, but that he would be forming a panel to make those decisions. Twitter will be forming a content moderation council with widely diverse viewpoints, Musk said. No major content decisions or account reinstatements will happen before that council convenes. Musk officially acquired the social media giant late last week, and immediately began to clean house. Elon Musk responds to LeBron James, he also denied a claim from the New York Times saying that he was planning to initiate mass layoffs before a Tuesday deadline to avoid paying out severance in the form of stock grants. This is false, Musk tweeted in response to the report.